look at bone here. All right, we have hold held this area that I talked about a couple days ago. Didn't put any videos out yesterday. Took a day off from that, but uh, at dollar nine, all right, this thing has held steady. All right, and the reason I call, I say this dollar nine is if you look back through here, this is on the weekly chart, all right. But down through here it was resistance, all right. Um, up here it was support. Up here it was support, support support once again seems to be a pretty crucial area all right so as long as we hold that i don't believe we're coming down to these these lower ranges down in here okay if we look at the rsis all right the weekly all right first off let's show this weekly i want to make some points here that uh that are pretty crucial okay now if you look match the rsi with price action all right you had a high in the rsi right here with price action that high was right here okay you can see what happened with the rsi dip down and then what did we get we get one more blast up uh, a pretty big blast it went from a dollar fourteen up to uh two dollars and thirty six cents it over doubled in price up through there so that after that rsi came down and headed back up over here the rsi got to the high right here okay right match that with price action that's right here what did we get we ended up getting another blow off up here it ended up going from dollar uh, 80 up to uh, 210 all right so it had uh, a 30 cent increase right there once again this rsi is at the top okay price action up here going you know they like they say history repeats itself price action seems to repeat itself a lot of times okay um, you can see the RSI down here at the bottom you can see this thing starting to curve back up on the weekly okay we're starting to get a curve back up here and I, I honestly believe we're either going to give a shot at breaking out of this wedge or we're going to come back and retest these highs up here okay now if you move over here and look at the daily all right, you can see our daily RSI is reset right at the bottom. I'm going to get that off my chart here, okay? Just going to bear with me one second, guys. I don't like leaving all that stuff up there, okay? But you can see the daily RSI is reset right at the bottom. It is showing a curve over down here, but it's bullish. It's at an 11 and an 8, all right? Might be pulling right back down to retest retest this dollar nine again it hasn't uh right now it's at a done roughly a dollar 16 but it's holding steady really for the last one two three four last five days we have held this range you know between a dollar 24 and a dollar nine we've just been bouncing in there so obviously that dollar 24 is a pretty significant area that we need to break all right the 12 hour rsi still bullish at a 55 and a 50 showing a little bit of weakness here though all right you can see that curve over here on the rsi a little bit the eight hour uh right at the top at 73 and a 75 all right so we could bounce around in here for another day or two the four hour pulling down uh that is at a 38 and a 61 okay so don't don't be shocked if uh if this thing bounces around in here for a couple days all right just bouncing consolidating going sideways building up some momentum uh to break out of here all right that could very easily happen a lot of these rsis are getting pretty high the one hour i don't look at very often but it is reset at the bottom okay so you could get another top push to the top of this range uh, up to a dollar 24 you know and then it could come back down uh, you know that that was a wick down here to that dollar nine all right but it's been between a dollar 13 and a dollar 24 it's been just ranging in here for five days now so uh i believe it's building momentum up a lot of these rsis are getting pretty low all right we're down to 39 down here on the four hour the eight hour we're down at a 34 down here uh the 12 hour we are down at a 33 in the daily we are down at a uh what are we at a 34 all right so you can see right back through here it hasn't been this low since over right over here in this area okay it's it's been a while so that daily has has pulled down pretty hard obviously from from uh where we were at up at what a 
apologize, got up at a dollar eighty, right around there, down to a dollar. Where are we at here? Dollar fifteen, dollar sixty, dollar fifteen. Yeah, right at that level. So this daily has corrected pretty hard. All right, we came down here. We're at thirty-four. We got a lot of area to move up. All right, so watch for bounce in this thing, especially with that weekly starting to curve back up and and past past price action has indicated that this thing still has another push up left with this weekly RSI, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, see how this plays out okay as far as the uh if we just barely made a lower low on the weekly rsi on here too all right let's take a look at uh is there any divergence on this weekly well there was on the weekly it was right here bullish divergence which we got this big push out of right here just a little tip for you guys and if you're interested in learning that stuff i have a level three membership you can go learn uh, I have seven videos in there right now, about four hours worth of material. I had a video a week uh, teaching people how to read these charts and, and look at set over four years in this. So hundreds of thousands of hours and, and probably thousands of dollars I've spent learning this stuff. So you can see this high here ended up being lower on price action. And down here on the RSI, and this is on the weekly, this was very strong divergence. You had a higher low on the RSI down there okay so that ended up being bullish divergence and there you go there was that gee you if you learn how to just nail divergences th there you go that would have uh, what that what kind of move did that end up being you know if you would have seen that in the charts known how to do this that was a hundred and sixty five percent if you're using a 10x you just 10 extra money you know you would have turned a thousand into ten thousand dollars ten thousand into a hundred thousand whatever you know uh if you were trading out there and looking at this you know really into these charts looking at that weekly you would have seen that bullish divergence coming in and you would have known that the bottom was coming in here this thing was bottoming out you would have looked across here seen this excellent support i haven't been covering this coin that long um you know, yeah, 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 really great support right there. Okay, you would have seen that uh, divergence coming in on the weekly right here. You would have seen it was just starting back up, bullish divergence. Take a long, there you go. As soon as that RSI, you know, got the top of it would have been there. But past price action, if you would have been looking at these charts, would have told you that uh, we had another push up here coming. All right, so. You can see that thing turning back up again on the weekly. All right, guys, thank you very much. I believe this dollar nine is going to hold. I believe these RSIs need to uh, need to cool off a little bit. Got that twelve. Um, the twelve isn't that far up. It's not. Uh, the, the RSIs, you know, the eight, the eight could cool off a little bit. The four, uh, the four is coming down. That's going to take another half a day or so to get to the bottom there, but. Uh, I don't think this thing is, uh, you have people out there calling for, you know, 90 some cents. Um, I don't see that happening, honestly, you know, and I, I put these videos out at least every other day on this coin. So I've been covering it a while long enough now to, uh, I, th I think this bottom has come in, this wick down here. All right. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon.